Thank you. Uh, by the way, I am so sorry for speaking on your uh, windscreen. In, in just for to uh, let you know that I'm right. Love you, bro. <laughs> so the other day I was on the radio show, and somehow the uh, there seemed to uh, have a caller with the same problem that I have. Um, another comedian with a speech impediment. And I'm thinking to myself, what in the heck am I doing on the radio talking to myself? <laughs> it's hard to understand my thoughts. Why do I need to talk to this guy? <laughs> but he was cool. I mean, in, in there's nothing to know that I'm not the only uh, guy that's broken that's, that's doing comedy. Yeah, unfortunately, my warranty has expired. <laughs> you know who I think is very hard to understand? Girls. <laughs> they talk in abbreviations. It's like they tell a baby all over again. They think it's toad soup's dorms. I think it's totally. I'm knowing! For example, my real name is Andrew. This one girl wanted to call me Ann. Are you kidding me, bro? I am not a female. So no, you cannot call me Ann. So she, she asked me, Can I call you Ann? Okay, I'm going from a female to a contraction. What is your problem? <laughs> it's, what are you trying to save time for? It's not, it's not like you're going to miss a bachelor or anything. <laughs> Thank you for laughing. <laughs> I really appreciate that. What? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I really don't understand girl logic at all. Oh, oh, because lately I've been hanging out with with some females, and I have a couple of female friends who say, "Oh, Trinic Bob has a girlfriend now." Um, no. Wait, 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 Trinic. Let's slow down and figure this out. Is she a girl? I think so. <laughs> Is she your friend? Yes. So she's your girlfriend? No! That's not how that works. Let's start over. Is she a girl? Yes. She's a friend, right? Yes. So she's your girlfriend, right? Eh, wrong. Try again, and never. <laughs> so I've had some how pretty interesting couple of days trying to party train a dog. Oh, the dog's name is Satan, <laughs> and and here's why: because the dog does not like me at all. Oh, it's a pain in the butt trying to get her out. And whenever I go near her, she always stares at me like, You come near me, I will kill you. The dog is a chihuahua. <laughs> How do you think I was supposed to be scared of that little thing? It's like, I can't. I, the, the dog's trying to bite my ankle. And I'm like, you seriously want to go right now? I will kick you right into the cabinet. <laughs> you seriously want to go? <laughs> I've just recently decided uh, to uh, never shave again. How many of you guys feel like shaving is just a pain in the butt? 
Mike, do you enjoy my new philosophy? Grave before shave. I just recently had a conversation with my sister, and she asked me, So, Train Rock, uh, let's, what are you going to do if you meet the girl of your dreams and she tells you that she will only marry you if you only shave your beard? Well, that's simple for me to answer. Because I'm going to miss her. Well, I, I can't believe you actually found that funny. That's awesome. Are you, are you from, uh, are you, are you from in town? Yeah? You enjoying yourself? Okay, okay, um, can you understand a single thing I say? Do you need, do you need close captions or anything? Okay, just wait to make sure. Uh, sometimes I really hate going to Sonic because it's just annoying trying to, trying to order things uh, somewhere with a speech impediment. And yes, I know, I only have one minute, so let me go through this one bit. Mike, let me, let me, let me just let me flesh this out. Um, I know that uh, because I spit on this, I know you that you just want me to get off of the stage ASAP. <laughs> Hang on. So I go to the sock the other day, and, and it's very hard for me to order uh, with my speech impediment uh, because I always had to have people come out to take my order. Um, I push the red button, and and someone in the, in the speaker goes, Welcome to Sack, how may I help you? I would like a grape slushy. Um, we can understand you. Can you please speak slowly so we can understand you? I would like a grape slushy, please. Oh, uh, we took you on the scenic. Oh, we got to send someone out. No, at this point, I am mad. I is mad. Yes, I spent so much time in California, I talk like them. So they come out on the roller skates. <laughs> and at this point, I'm just fuming. And so instead of just telling them what I want, I point. So I just tell them, this? You're pointing at a little fun Sunday. This? It's 9.30 in the morning. First, I want this. Don't you understand? I want this. First, give me this right now or else I will go ADA on you. Why do you know speak speech and put him in the first place? I thought one more. Sometimes I like to go to go to different churches, especially the, the churches that that are Pentecostal, because I can speak normally and I can fit right in. <laughs> and I can just say hi, hi, and everyone looks at me and they think, "Oh, we got profit on our hands." No, I'm just a some guy with a speech impediment. <laughs> oh, the Holy Spirit is coming down. No, I just want to say hello. Don't read into it, bro. 
Praise the Lord. Good. Anyway, that's my time. My name is Tim Thank you.